Alright, so we continue the descent according to Sid, 7,000 feet. Yeah. Uh, the autopilot should keep in the limits. So let's set the approach pitch. Uh, we have QRH 1021. 1021. Temperature is 16 degrees. 16. Wind is uh, 030 at 3 knots. Zero at 3 knots. Okay, uh, transition is 7000, that's good. Uh, we have decision height according to the chart. And we'll do a VOR, so minimum decision is 480 decision height. 480. Decision height, right? Decision height. This one, yeah. Good. And minimum decision altitude is 1890. And uh, the MDA, 1893. Yeah. yeah. And so configuration 3. Correct. Configuration 3. Uh, on approach. So let's skip that for now. Okay, so we have the speed 135, 129. We'll be the pilot flying for the approach and landing. And the approach checklist, please. Approach checklist. Briefing. Briefing completed. Let's see. ECAM status. ECAM status check. Seat belts on. Barrel ref. Barrel ref. So standard for now. Set. Minimums. Minimums. 4.0 set. 4.0 set. Engine mode selector. Normal. Check right. is complete. Okay, check. Uh, please contact the ATC. Geneva approach. Speedbird 736 on uh, Lusar 1 November. November. Yep. Descending uh, through flight level 160 to 7000. Speedbird 736, continue on Lusar 1 November. Continue on the Star uh, Speedbird 736. Alright, so speed restrictions are very far, 250. You want to turn the speed brakes and set up? Yep, let's have the speed brakes. I uh, want to brake low. Low. Um, yeah, we'll go for now. So. Yep. Transition level is one zero zero. Okay. okay so we can see on the map. Uh, we're going to Lirko, then straight to the right, right turn, left turn, left turn again, and joining the VOR approach at seven thousand feet. Yeah. Uh, let's set the VOR. Now, so Geneva 115.75. Yeah, we have that. Okay, according to the seat speed restriction 250 is set. And the can checks. Hmm? And then, okay. So we're pretty much minimum safe altitude is 7,000 all around the airport from where we are coming from. So we would save all over here at 7,000 feet. Yeah. And we cannot really see the terrain because it's night, so that is nice to know. Checks we have some Yep, and passing 10,000 lights on. Only turn off as well with then CS 
um, wing lights as well. Okay, and the radio will be 045 for runway 5. And already passed the transition level, so one zero to two one. Zero two one. One zero two one. Set. And set, set and set. cross check. Okay. Stand by to one zero two one. Set. You want the approach checklist? That's the approach checklist. Approach checklist. Everything. Okay, so we do it again. We'll write it down. <laughs> we'll do it again. Yes, okay. to double check. Yeah, yeah. Briefing. okay. Briefing completed. You can see this. Check. Seat belts. Let's bring back the e cam status. And because we don't have the e like one system, the flight control system number one, uh, we have the status we can read through and need to read, read through. So we have an operative system, flight control protection. ELAC number one and cat three dual is not operative. Max speed is three to zero knots. Approach procedure for landing use flaps three and GPWS landing flap three is on. So turn it on. Uh, approach speed VRF plus ten. So we have uh, let's see it's one three ones one three five so we'll be landing at one four five approaching. Okay. A landing distance procedure also applies, so auto brake medium, please. Auto brake medium? Okay. You want me to change the VRF? Yeah, 145. 145? And we're at altitude 7000. 7000? Okay, uh, when landing gear down and if autopilot off, direct law, alternative law protection will be lost, that means manual trimming uh, could be required. On landing, cat three single only. So we know that. Okay. So the best thing is to uh, let the autopilot handle the approach. Yeah, but we're doing the VOR, so we still need to set the vertical speeds and stuff. Uh, so. Without the flight protection, I think it's a more safe thing to do it manually and just fly the plane. Uh, let's try to do that and one one zero. Okay, this is set. This is set. This is good. What if we fly on uh, on managed? Yeah, we can we can do that on managed. Sure. So we will set the position height here and the manage? Or the minimum decision altitude. Yeah, okay. We'll set the minimum decision altitude. Yeah. Because if we set the minimum decision height, uh, it still doesn't measure height, it measures altitude, right? Yeah. So we'll set uh, 1900 and, uh, and continue. So the vertical speed. Uh, it will be something around 900, 900 feet per, per minute. Okay, so 1,900 and then... Uh, yeah, and then we'll, we'll see according to the chart what happens then. Okay, you'll be the player flying, uh, so I should have the checklist. And you have the controls, I have the radios. My controls, your radios. Two thousand five hundred in the radio altimeter. Yeah. So what we don't have even is the DME for VOR one, which is not good, right? Which is set correctly. Yeah, it, it was is. set correctly, uh, but we don't have the VOR. 
we are not getting the VOR. Let's try to do that manually. So we have 115445 on the OR1. 75, sorry. 75 set. And four zero four five. I can't ident identify the station. Yep, not working. All right, uh, let's identify the LS really quick. And we have the LS uh, one one zero and nine. Let's go in there. Down. Uh, less is available. So let's slow it down to 190. 190. And we have the LS. Okay, let's do the LS approach then. Okay. And we'll do the LS on manual and decision altitude will be pretty much the same. Minimum is 204. So we're on, on base now. Okay. So we should switch uh, ILS in the flight plan. Flight plan is. It's still Belka uh, in this, then Belka, then we continue, it's the same. And we'll be turning now on final, yeah. so local hour, zero arm, speed 190, set, localize your capture, approach, set, and we're speed managed. Okay, uh, even the auto thrust is not working correctly. So I suggest you're the fly flying, disconnect the auto thrust. The thrust to idle. Okay, good. And speed brake. I'll apply the speed brake. Let's try to slow down a bit. Okay, I'll contact the tower. Geneva Tower, speed break 736 with you on final runway 05. Cleared for final on runway 05. Good to land, runway 05, speed break 736 will clear to land. And we're slowing down, so gear down. Gear down. Gear down. This will help us as well. And that's one. That's one.
thousand. So the minimum is two hundred feet, and the altitude is one six one five. So one thousand seven hundred will be the minimum. Yeah. I'll, I'll advise. Yeah, watch the thrust. Keep it keep keep it there symmetric. My controls. Your controls. The pilot off. Go around. Positive right. Check. Gear up. Gear up. And flaps two, please. Flaps two. Advise the tower that we are going around. Speedbird is 736 going around. And engine failure, uh, continue on runway heading, climbing to 7,000 feet. Alright, and... So, please set runway uh, heading uh, on the autopilot 045. Runway heading set 045. Okay, no engine, no fire reported, checked, no fire signals, let's continue to climb, we'll level off at 7000, then clear this up. Yep. Now, Airbus A320 usually has a very good protection against these kinds of things. Uh, it has automatic rudder, automatic trim. But with this system, ELEC 1 not working, we don't have either of those. And we have to do it all manually. So we trim the rudder. Okay, please set speed uh, to 190. 180, set. 190, please. 190. 190, yeah, 190. Set. Thank you. Let's go the sound, so... Okay, we'll build up the speed, then raise the flaps. So... Okay, what, what does it say to do after Mr. Broach when we continue? Remember we did that? Yeah, we, yeah, we will continue uh, to some tracks. Some tracks? Three, the small nine. Okay. I have it on manual, so wait. Yeah. All right. Flaps one, please. Flaps one, speed check. One or three decimal nine set. And the enter holding pattern at 7,000 feet. Flaps up. Speed check, flaps up. Okay, let's do... Oh, now we have the VOR. Yes, sir. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's do the ECAM. So, engine to fail. Please read the ECAM. Engine mode selector ignition. Okay. Ignition. Thrust lever sometimes. number two. Idle. Confirm number two. Confirm. And, and retard. Confirm number Yeah, number two. Yep. 
too. Good. Then let's wait for real light. If, if no engine real light, engine master to off. I'm setting engine one to max continuous. If no okay, engine so real light, engine the master to off. Okay. Number two off. Damage engine to fire push. No damage. No fire detected. If no damage, engine to relight, initiate. Shut down. Okay, so fuel crossbreed on. Fuel crossbreed is on. So we clear this one. Engine start for open, start will not open. This is not applicable. Uh, flight control, alternative flow, protection lost, maximum speed 3 to 0, then base up, bleed, and electrical and hydraulic from engine Q has failed. Alright, so now we'll enter the holding pattern and then turn around, go back for LS05, attempt the same landing in same conditions but with one engine off.